Hey there, look at that. I'm almost on time this morning. It is a little bit after 7. That means it's time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today It's Friday, free coaching Friday. If you think you got something you can stump the coach with, get that ready to go in the comments. Otherwise, I've got a topic for you uh, about boundaries. We're going to finish up talking about boundaries today. All that and more right after this. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Well, hello, good morning. How you doing? Awesome to have you here this morning. Chicken disappeared. I don't know where he went. Hey, oh, there he is over there. So my name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning Show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. This week, in fact, we've been talking about boundaries. And today it's going to kind of, you know, kind of stretch outside of business, but that's okay because it's all life, right? The whole work-life balance thing. Yes, the chicken did cross the road. He's over there on the table. Lindley's here somewhere, so she probably picked him up. She loves that thing. All right, so uh, it is Friday. It means free coaching Friday. If you have a question topic you'd like to try and stump me with, you can put that in the comments. I'm batting a thousand, so you know somebody's got to come up with something good someday. When you get here. <laughs> When you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning. Uh, love it that you are here and appreciate you being here as well. And then by the time we get to the end, if you get any value from our conversation today, can you tell I've said this a few times? I'd love it if you would like, hearts, thumbs up, star, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening today. All right, so as we've been talking about boundaries today, I came across a great quote today. Um, and actually, I need to look at it to make sure I get it just right because it's that good uh, and it says you are not required to set yourself on fire to keep other people warm there is a limit to how far we can go and so I talk a lot about pushing boundaries getting outside your comfort zone think outside the box separate yourself from the crowd uh, be non-conformist be unconventional where, so if, if you're doing all of those things, why all this talk about limits? Well, because there's a limit to what you can affect, directly affect, or impact. Let me elaborate. Um, you can't make decisions for other people. You can try to influence them. You can be influential. But at the end of the day, they have to make the decision. In my, in my work as a consultant and a coach, I've seen lots of people who don't follow the advice that they're given and don't get the results that they're looking for. All I can do is tell you what you need to do or, or help you figure out what you need to do. You still have to do the work, and if you choose not to do that, that's your choice. But it's your choice. It's not, it's, it's not my fault, right? And... <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, it all worked up there. But I want you to realize, and and as parents, this is really tough, right? Uh, in my in my post today, it <coughs> should be on Instagram by now. It'll come out later on the, on the website. I talk about you know what happened with my son. I mean, he made choices that 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 ultimately killed him. I, as a parent, that's a very difficult thing to keep, get my head wrapped around and, and keep it wrapped around, right? Um, because I feel, I feel, our job is to protect our kids. Well, I, you know, did I fail in protecting him? No. I took it as far as I could take it. When, when someone else, be it a, a, a business owner, a personal relationship, Whatever. When someone else makes a free will choice, well, I mean, you can't go any further than that. So the reason that this is important is because 
you have to be comfortable in doing the best you can do and realize that there is a, a demarcation line between the best you can do and where their choice picks up. So back to our quote of the day, you're not required to set yourself on fire to keep other people warm. If you've done what you need to do, gathered some firewood <clears throat> so that you can stay warm, and they didn't, even after you told them they need to, I mean, personal responsibility has to kick in at some point. And to the extent that you have the ability to share and support them in, in their lack, great. I encourage you to do that. But, you know, they have an element of personal responsibility, and you do too. I personally choose to devote my time to the people who are going to follow the advice and execute on the things that need to happen. I have a client that's not doing the homework, not, not getting it done, I'll fire a client. I, I mean, <clears throat> why? Life is short. Why? Why spend a bunch of time, energy, and attention on someone who's not going to do the work? I just choose not to do that. <clears throat> Catherine says you have to be willing to let them make their choice and sometimes suffer the consequences. Yeah, I agree. Choices have consequences, both good and bad. Typically, we associate consequences with bad. But, yeah, I mean, but those choices, now, do those, will those choices sometimes have an impact on you? Yeah, sometimes. But there's only so much that you can do. Right. And then, just as in my example of having to fire clients that are not doing the work, sometimes you have to take steps to protect yourself. Move on to the next opportunity. Tough, really tough when it's a personal relationship, not a business relationship. Sometimes business relationships are hard too. But just, just understand, remember that, like we talked about yesterday, Right? Constraints and boundaries, good fences make good neighbors. Those boundaries help us focus. And when we allow someone else's poor decisions to influence our ability to focus, that's our choice. That's my choice. When I let someone else's bad decisions, when you let someone else's bad decisions influence your day, you are making a choice to allow that to happen. Just saying. That's a little bit of a downer message for a Friday, so I don't want to leave you with that downer message. I want you to take away from our time together this week. Oh, wait. Don't waste your time and energy to get a paycheck from someone who's not willing to change. Well, I do have a friend whose uh, rule of thumb is shut up and cash the check. I can't do that, though. All right, so uh, here's what I want you to take away from our time together this week and today. Yes, there are boundaries. Those boundaries should be uh, probed and checked and expanded when you're able, but only to the extent, only to the extent that they help you pursue your own outcomes. Right? Expand your comfort zone in the direction of your success. That's good. I need to write that down. Expand. <laughs> Expand your comfort zone in the direction of your success. Right? Focus and you will get the results that you're looking for. You have in you the potential to make your world amazing. Focus on that. Absolutely. And with that, we're going to end the week. Next week, I'm going to be on the road, but I'm going to do the best I can to be with you every morning. So be sure and tune in for that. See where we are. <laughs> uh, I should be back here next Friday, but uh, we're leaving later this afternoon. And... Uh, Stay, stay tuned on Instagram, too. That's right down there. I'll, I'll post some things to Instagram for our journey so you can kind of see where we are and what we're doing. But uh, otherwise, until then, you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you here again Monday with a brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Take care. <laughs>